Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTechCrew. In this video, I'm going to uh, guide you which display you need to buy right now in the 2021. And this is another uh, most requested question, friends, which display should I prefer, uh, which processor is the best processor, which camera is a good. So all these kind of questions I'm trying to do individual parts, so which I can actually focus in depth into that one particular uh, specification. That's what I'm going to decide. So right now, in this video, let's cover the part, which is a display part. In another segment, I'll try to cover regarding the process, which processor to choose and why. But in this video, let's focus on the display segment. I'll try to clear separate playlist as well, uh, buying guide for the smartphone. So make sure to check that playlist in case if you're interested. And this is a recently uploaded video of what are the top five best phones in the Flipkart and Amazon as well. You can check those videos in case if you want to know more information. But so this part, you know, in the display, a lot of users, they do a lot of confusions, uh, which phone should they buy? So first thing is I'll try to give you a small, a clear chart. So which includes six different categories. So if a smartphone satisfied out of six different categories, if the smartphone can tick four boxes, then that's a really good device. I can definitely say that out of six, any, any four, if the phone satisfied this kind of conditions, that's a very good. So first is regarding the display panel and in terms of the display panel, one thing is pretty common, which is below 20,000, we cannot expect uh, all the phones to be AMOLED. So only few phones will be there with the AMOLED panels. That's the one thing you should definitely understand. So always decide, you want AMOLED panels or IPS LCD panels. So in my experience, in a lot of other US experience as well, I definitely prefer the AMOLED panels over the IPS LCD panel. That's the best thing which you can actually get in the AMOLED panels. For the watching and viewing content, AMOLED panels are the best. So if you don't have any option, I mean, if you are getting the phone price very less price for about, for example, in the Poco X3 Pro segment, the phone is right now in the big billion, it's available for about close to 16 triple nine. If you're getting for this kind of low price, maybe you can actually sacrifice because you do get the performance other advantage with this phone. So if you have that kind of advantages then definitely you can prefer the IPS LCD panels. But in my suggestion, I will never go for the IPS LCD after using AMOLED panels. So that's the one thing which I can definitely say in terms of the display segment. So below 20,000, we do have only few phones which are having AMOLED panels like Redmi Note series. They started to introduce the AMOLED panels. Even the Realme also, they do have the AMOLED panels. So you can look after those videos as well in terms of the AMOLED panels. So next is regarding the refresh rate. So refresh rate right now in the 2021, you should buy a phone which has minimum, minimum 120 years, not 90, 120 years. So because Right now in the 2021, this is a trend going on 120 years. So maybe in the last year, we may go choose the 90 years. That's kind of okay. But right now in the 2021, it's not okay to choose, choose the 90 years. So try to prefer 120 years as a future proof option. If In case if you want to use for the next three to four years, always select the displays which has got 120 years refresh rate, always. And there's nothing wrong in selecting the 90 years and uh, lower than that, nothing wrong in that. But in case if you want to buy a phone as a future proof option, so make sure to select, the, select that 120 years refresh rate. That's what I would definitely suggest right now in the 2021. If you're planning to use three to four years, if you're planning to use, if you're planning to use one year and two years, then 90 years should be kind of good. But for long run, 120 years, can be the best because right now most of the games are trying to get addict with the uh, adopt with this kind of uh, 120 hertz refresh rate as well so very soon we'll be seeing a lot of trend going on with the 120 hertz refresh rate so you should be prepared even for that one and this can be applicable only if you're kind of gaming oriented if you're a normal user with the watching to who buys the phone just for the entertainment purpose and not for the gaming not much high gaming then definitely you can select the low refresh rate no problem but my preference amulet panel in the first category refresh rate 120 years in the second category and brightness outdoor this is another most important thing most of the people they won't check before actually they buy the phone you should must check this one brightness outdoor always a brightness outdoor visibility for example i did upload plenty of videos in my channel type the phone name just type the phone name outdoor visibility SciTech guru in the youtube you can get that videos whatever i uploaded in the phone reviews in that way you will be able to find out always the outdoor visibility which has got how many needs so minimum standard for the brightness minimum minimum try to keep around 600 minimum 600 nits of brightness minimum try to keep it so if you have more than 1000 that will be really great 1000 brightness that nits of brightness that will be fantastic so try to keep as a minimum close to 600 nits to survive for the next few years so i'm i'm mentioning all these things in terms of the future proof options only that's the one thing so next regarding the touch sampling rate so touch sampling rate right now i do I have the few phones like uh, poco f3 gt which has got the 480 hertz touch sampling rate so this will be really helpful 
for the gamers in case if you plan to buy the phone for the gaming purpose better choose select the phone which has got the high touch sampling rate and do the research do the proper research before you buy it i did upload plenty of videos as well regarding the touch sampling rate you can type in the youtube touch sampling the site you can get a couple of videos so right now even there is another phone which is a uh, moto h20 which has got 576 hertz touch sampling rate and very soon the realme gonna launch 600 hertz touch sampling rate from the realme gt neo 2 so try to always check for the touch sampling rate how much your phone has got whatever the phone you're buying try to keep the minimum 180 hertz minimum that's common that's a like normal thing minimum try to keep 180 hertz always as a future proof option so next is regarding the screen size so first you should decide what type of screen you want you want a big screen or you want a small screen so small screen means like realme phones they do are the small screen 6.43 inches so very small and compact and try to decide what type of screen size and next even the redmi phones they are really big redmi poco phones and right now even samsung phone as well samsung galaxy phones they do are the 6.7 inches screen size try to decide the screen size what type of screen size you want if you're if you're okay to use a big screen, try to buy the, buy the big screen phones. That's what I will definitely advise you to choose. So next is regarding the HD and HDR content in the Prime and the Netflix. This is the most important thing. Only few users will be checking before actually they buy the phone. So that is the reason you should not buy the phone in the first sale. Because if you buy the phone in the first sale, you won't know the practical world what is happening with the device. Because all the reviews and everything, they will not do the practical and they cannot show in the beginning in the first sale itself so that's the reason after after the first sale you'll get later on all the reviews it's not in the beginning so that is the reason friends always buy the phones in the second sale don't buy in the first sale so try to do the research which phone supports the amazon prime hd and the netflix hdr as well maybe with the software updates you can fix these things that's not a big deal i would say but above things you cannot fix because which are hardware related you cannot do anything so that's the reason always check for these things before you actually buy it so right now I do have the IPS LCD panel, Fluid AMOLED panel, Super AMOLED, Super AMOLED Plus panel, 10-bit AMOLED panel. So you can clearly see how the difference is in terms of the panels, how they are actually behaving. I can increase the brightness in all the phones to maximum. So full brightness levels. So try to look at the viewing angles and everything. So IPS panels are not that uh, great for the viewing angles. That's what I'll definitely can say that after using for a long time. I did use IPS LCD panels for a very long time. But as soon as you switch to the AMOLED panels, you will definitely don't like the IPS LCD panel. So that's the one thing you should definitely understand. So this video is only for the dedicated for best phone display buying guide. So right now, this is just the guide to, I'll, I'll just guide you to buy the, to select the correct phone. So maybe in the next upcoming videos, I'll try to announce what are the few phones which have got really good displays. But next thing is that regarding the problems of the displays, you need to check this part a lot. Before you buy and invest the money, you should know whether the phone has got any kind of green tint issues or not, black color crush issues or not, screen bidding issues or not, and flickering issues or not. These are the issues which I came across recently with a few of the phones. The more I started to investigate, the more problems I, I'm getting in the phones. Yes, that's the one thing. As soon as you get the phone on the day one, you need to check for the green tint problem and this black color crush issue. And the green tint problem cannot happen in all the units no it doesn't happen only in few units the green tint problem will happen so make sure to check your unit is not one of the green tint unit if you have the green tint try to apply for the replacement that's the reason always you need to follow this guide every time and black color crush issue i think recently we, we did find out even so many phones they do have but in the recently ml linux did have the black color crush issue green tint also ml linux device and iq7 they both have the green tint issues and screen bleeding issue the poco f3 gt has got the screen bleeding issue so screen bleeding issue is kind of software thing which can be fixed that's another thing but still uh, it did not get fixed and flickering issue is the uh, another thing which you cannot see with the eyes only by using different phone camera only you can see the flickering so this is kind of lost but still the EBO 3 are really very important so always if you're planning to buy a POCO F3 GT try to type the POCO F3 GT green tint SciTech Guru you can get my videos if you're planning to buy the realme phone type the name of the phone type the problem type my name you will get my videos whatever the problem is you should for always follow this kind of pattern in the YouTube. Only then you can actually find my list of videos out, out of 5,000 videos. It's very hard for you to find the video, what you want. Type you use, ty ty try to use the correct keywords. Only then you can actually get what you're looking for. So that's it friends. Thank you for watching this video. This is a perfect guide for the display. 
in case if you're planning to phone if you plan to buy a phone so make sure you use my links in description to buy the phone and definitely do support me as well and this perfect guide which i thought of just mentioning for you all and the super amulet place which i'm trying to use is samsung's m51 device which i'm trying to use at this minute right now i do have the m51 and that's it friends thank you for watching this video and in case if you have any other queries let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to check the place for more information of individual smartphones which you can actually find plenty of links for each and every smartphone so thank you for watching see you in the next video and stay tuned meanwhile signing off bye and one more thing i forgot to mention so in terms of the amulet panels the fluid amulet panels super amulet panels super amulet plus panel these three panels they do look kind of really good but I do prefer the Samsung's displays most of the time. That's really good to see the Samsung displays. And when compared to the Samsung with the 10-bit panel, the 10-bit AMOLED panels, they do look really good. The 10-bit panels when compared with the Samsung AMOLED Plus panels. So only you will be able to compare if you watch physically side by side. Only then you will be able to understand the difference. So that's the one thing which I thought of concluding at the end of this video. So that's it friends. Thank you for watching this video. And see you in the next video. Stay tuned. Signing off. Bye.